Hi, I'm Nick Vitellari. Good evening and welcome to Bishop Garcia Diego High School. We are very pleased to have you here for the open house. One of the newest additions to Bishop is the Pierre and Margot Guarini Center for Multimedia Arts and Technology. This center has, been, has many unique and advanced capabilities, but today we are going to give you a sample of its capabilities and our students' capabilities in a short program about our school. During this program, our students will interview our staff and highlight some of the exciting parts of our school. I'm going to start with one of our volleyball stars, Talia Medell, who will interview Raya Carpenter and Jean Anderson about our counseling program. Talia? Thank you. Good evening, everybody, and thank you guys for being here. I have a few questions to ask you guys to further everybody's knowledge about the programs here at Bishop. So my first question for you is, what does a typical schedule look like for a ninth grader here at Bishop? Our uh, typical ninth grader will have a schedule that includes theology and English and math um, in a foreign language. Some uh, freshmen will be in biology class depending on their math placement and then PE and or weight conditioning or one of our electives. Very nice. Mm -hmm. uh, what are some of the elective classes offered here at Bishop? We have a lot of really great electives including BDTV right here. Um, we have the multimedia classes and graphic arts and technology classes and uh, our new program, our sound production program classes. We have an innovation and design class, which is web design and pre-engineering programming and uh, color and design art classes, advanced art classes, ceramics. Um, we now have an introduction to business class and um, of course our PE and weights classes. Very nice. Thank mm -hmm. you. And my last question is, what are the, some of the required courses for graduation and college admissions? Okay, are all uh, Bishop students will take four years of theology and four years of English and four years of math, um, three years of social sciences history classes, uh, a minimum of two foreign language classes, and then we have um, our fine arts class. Uh, I said science, right? I think so. Uh, our fine arts and our technology classes and um, other electives. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Now I have some questions for you, Ms. Carpenter. Wonderful. Um, how many honors and AP courses are offered here at Bishop and what is the difference between the two? Excellent question. We have nine honors classes. We have ten AP classes. The main difference between an honors and an AP class is that the AP class is like taking a college class. It's literally considered a college level class. Both honors and AP will give you the extra GPA bump, um, but if you take the AP exam at the end of the year and you get a high enough score, you might earn college credit depending on where you go to college. Very nice, thank you. Well, and my last question is, what is unique about Bishop's College Counseling Program? Well. Aside from having the best counselors this side of the Mississippi, <laughs> we pride ourselves on personal attention. So we have a low uh, counselor to student ratio. And really starting in ninth grade, we um, make sure that we have an open door policy. So we will meet with students one on one throughout the year. We will meet with them in groups throughout the year. But at any moment in time, if a parent or a student feels like they have something that they want to check in about, um, they have access to us and so that goes it, it ramps up of course um, going into 11th and 12th grade um, but we pride ourselves on that open door policy and then I think one of the marquee programs that we offer in our college counseling program is the transition between 11th and 12th grade so at literally every Friday um, it, starting in 11th grade the students are having the conversation in class during our family homeroom about um, college planning and uh, what the, might be a good fit. And at the end of 11th grade, they have a boot camp called College Seminars. So the students are gonna be given this binder starting in 11th grade and they're gonna be working through it every week um, through the end of 11th grade going all the way into 12th grade. So a lot of uh, time spent on this topic um, whenever possible. Very nice. Thank you both for being here, and we well, hope that furthers you. your knowledge in our counseling programs here at Bishop. Back to you, Dr. Vidalari. Thank you, Talia. As you can see, we have a great counseling department, and thank you, Ms. Carpenter and Ms. Anderson. Christian service to the community and spiritual life are two distinctive elements of our school. We educate the entire person, their mind, their body, their heart, and their soul. 
Um, our core values of respect, perseverance, and compassion make this real. In the first week of February, we will celebrate this commitment to education during the Catholic Schools Week with a mass on campus with all the Catholic schools in the area. Jennifer Winnewisser heads up our campus ministry program and is director of spiritual development. Logan Avery, one of the campus ministers, has done missions in Honduras to provide humanitarian aid. So Logan is here with us this evening, and Mrs. Win Win Winnewisser is here also in the studio to talk about campus ministry, our activities, and service outreach to the community. Logan? Thank you, Dr. I'm here with Ms. Winnemister, Director of Spiritual Life, and could you tell us a little bit about what it means to serve at Bishop and some of the service opportunities given? Sure. So the main reason that we require our students to do community service hours is to help them get in the habit of putting others' needs before their own. Um, as Christians, we're called to reach out um, and minister to others. So our hope is that our students continue this habit as they graduate from Bishop, continue to contribute to society in big ways and little ways. But here at Bishop, um, our requirements are that our ninth graders serve um, 25 service hours by the end of, by the beginning of May. We ask that they have 25 hours turned in. Um, and sophomores will have 50 hours by the end of May, uh, juniors 75, and by the end of senior year, they should have 100 hours accumulated. Now, What's exciting is that about a third of our seniors typically are recognized at graduation having served over 200 hours. We have students that have six, seven, eight hundred hours. It's pretty exciting. Um, service is a huge component of um, our school and it's certainly uh, a value. So what kind of service opportunities are offered on and off campus? Well, so stu students are encouraged definitely to serve here at Bishop and in our own community as well as out in the greater community. So opportunities such as what you're doing right now, coming here tonight, you and your peers are here tonight. So that's service hours. It's something above and beyond. Um, students can participate in the choir, singing at mass. Uh, there's peer tutoring. There's tutoring of elementary school students after school, um, helping clean the art room and other areas of campus. Uh, filing for teachers. Uh, Project Send is something that we did in December and we do this every year and that's a really big part of our community service outreach. We go out to the community, we uh, deliver packages to 12 families who we adopt um, and there's a bus load of us that go and deliver and it's just a really great opportunity. Um, some examples for outside the community, um, nonprofits such as Hearts Therapeutic, um, stocking shelves at the Unity Shop or other food pantries in the neighborhood, teen court, um, and many of our students serve in their churches, and that's all part of community service. Specific requests also come my way. So um, we, I get emails all the time, fundraisers, um, marathons that need uh, volunteers, uh, cancer walks, things like that. So, yeah. Interesting. And about more about Bishop, what do we do at retreats here? When, we, like, in every class, there's a certain mm -hmm. retreat at one time in the year. What do we do, yeah. and like, what are the activities? Yeah. So each year, um, the every class participates in a retreat. The freshmen go on, and the sophomores they attend a one-day retreat um, off campus. The juniors go to a retreat um, off campus, an overnight retreat. So it's two days, one night. And the seniors participate in a three-day, two-night retreat off campus. And really the purpose of our retreats is to help our students really understand how important it is to be strong in their relationships, relationship with self and others and their God. Some of the things that we do, yes, we have um, some sort of prayer service or meditation and, and mass at our retreats, definitely tapping into their spirituality in that way. We do a lot of fun icebreaker, large group, small group games. Uh, we get our students in small groups for activities and conversation and discussion. Um, and then we send them off their, on their own as well to um, reflect on their own lives. Mm -hmm. So what does the campus ministry team do here at Bishop? So I have a team of 21 seniors, um, of which you are a part. And we together work really hard, as you know, to um, uh, we implement and plan all of the things related to our faith 
retreats, masses, all those wonderful things. We um, execute retreats, um, and we work really hard at that, and we have a really great time doing that. Um, we also organize service projects, such as Project Santa, which I was just sharing. Um, and mostly, I'd like to say that campus ministry uh, members are living examples of people of strong character and strong faith and really great examples for the rest of their peers around campus. So pleasure being the leader of wonderful students like you and to serve wonderful students that we have here at Bishop. Thanks. Back to you, Dr. Vitellari. Thank you, Logan, and thank you, Ms. Winnewisser. Appreciate it. So one of the distinctive elements at Bishop is our sports and athletic programs. And what we learn from those is that how, how our students can really perform in a high pressure situation. So for a number of years, Dan Peters has been our athletic director. And in, in so doing, actually 17 years, um, and in his role as athletic director, he has led uh, many sports programs. So we have with us tonight uh, Corey Williams, who herself has done some very interesting things. She recently uh, established a, uh, a library, actually, in, s in a small village in southeast India, where um, she was able to uh, help a, a, a group of uh, students in a very small school uh, have access to, uh, to a solid uh, library. So I'm going to turn it over to them. And uh, Corey, thank you and, and welcome. Thank you for that kind introduction, Dr. Vitellari. So I'm here today with Mr. Peters, our athletic director, and he's going to tell us a little bit more about our sports programs here at Bishop. Well, I would be remiss if I didn't point out that Corey is also one of the more accomplished soccer players and is a uh, accomplished polo player as well. <laughs> Thank you. So to start us off, how challenging is it to meet the coach's expectations in terms of commitment, as well as the demands of to be a Bishop student here? Excellent question. You can't have successful programs without having a large degree of commitment, and I believe that our success is in large part to the commitment that our kids give, uh, not only to their work in the classroom, but on the field. Um, the overwhelming majority of feedback I've gotten from students as well as parents is this kind of structure actually is conducive to academic achievement, and I think it's clearly indicated by during the fall season of sport, which is football and volleyball and cross country, uh, in cheer, we had 42 of our student athletes, which is about 35% of them, achieve a 4.0 or higher, and I believe you've got a 4.55. <laughs> yeah, I definitely think it helps to have that structure in your life when you come home and you still have the homework to do, but a set amount of time to complete it. Yeah, learning how to manage your time. Yeah. And then what's the athletic department's policy on multiple sport athletes? You know, that's probably what I'm most proud of about the experience at Bishop Diego is our students can participate in multiple sports about 50% of our students are involved in two sports and about 20% are three sport athletes. Um, in today's culture, there's a lot of push for specialization and I just don't think it's the right thing for kids. I think kids should have an opportunity to get a bang out of high school. For an overwhelming majority of students, this is the last stop uh, in terms of being in organized sports. Uh, and I, I'm so proud of the kids can be multiple sport athletes here at Bishop and, and achieve success in both sports. Yeah, definitely. And then I've heard about our strength and conditioning program. Would you like to elaborate on that? Sure. Uh, we've, I think in our seventh year of our strength and conditioning program, we now have two sections. We have a zero one strength and conditioning program, which about 60 of our student athletes are in. And then we have a second strength and conditioning class. It's for both uh, girls and boys. And uh, we developed it working in partnership with P3 and Marcus Elliott. And our kids simply put, have tremendous results because of not only the quality of the program but the consistency of 180 days being able to work out during the day. It's had tremendous impact not only on our sports programs but on the overall self-esteem of our kids. Yeah, and I definitely can say you can see that in the results of our football team. Cool. Yeah. And lastly, uh, how many sporting programs do we have here? Uh, we offer 18 varsity sporting programs. A majority of our programs do have a lower level component. Uh, we do as many sporting programs in terms of sports as uh, the larger public schools with the exception of water polo and uh, um, and we did add girls golf and we did add um, sand volleyball which are two of the more sports which is uh, r rounding out our sporting programs. Well thank you so much for being here with us tonight. Thank mm -hmm. you for your time. Mm -hmm. Back to Dr. Vitellari. 
Well, thank you, Dr. Peters. Mr. Peters. Not yet. Should be a doctor, actually, and thank you, Corey. So one of the newest components of the Greeny Center is our state-of-the-art professional sound studio. And that sound studio uh, is brand new. It's one of our newest components. And as we begin uh, this new year, <laughs> we, are, we are really pleased to show it off to you. So at this point, I'm going to electronically shift over to James McKernan, who's over in our sound center with Brolin, uh, um, and, and they're going to do a, a short performance uh, for us uh, this evening. Uh, James? Hi, my name is Claire Velez. I am a junior here at Bishop Diego High School and the director of Spotlight. Spotlight is a completely student-run production that features both singers and dancers and anything from everyday pop songs to musical numbers. Today, James Bowen and I are going to be singing My Girl for you, so please enjoy. I got sunshine so much for watching. Make sure to see Spotlight on May 19th. Now back to you in the studio. Well, thank you, James and Claire and Brolin, for that wonderful performance. We're going to be looking forward to you at Spotlight, which is our student-led musical production in May. So one of the final things I wanted to chat with you about is our schedule coming up uh, for our conclusion of our, um, our uh, admissions year. And um, I want to encourage everyone to put, put the uh, dates on their schedule because the sooner you apply, then we can begin to do a pre-acceptance discussion with you around our personalized tuition model. And uh, that, uh, that allows us then to have a you know, discussion with you, figure out tuition, and then move you into the, uh, into the acceptance process. So with that, as they say in the business, it's a wrap. We are so pleased that, are you, that you have been here with us tonight and in our studio, and we thank you.